Hi, I'm Claire and this is my husband Nick. We met in an online chat room in 2001 and ended up getting married in 2006. We're a fairly normal, hard-working couple who love travelling and enjoying a drink or two. In early 2020, we decided we wanted a whole new life change and challenge. So we said goodbye to our jobs. We sold our Wiltshire farmhouse we packed up our things and made the move to France. In early 2001, I went back to the UK to finalise our house sale and pick up my Arga. I was on Facebook on an Escape to the Chateau fan club page when I saw this advert. I messaged Nick the advert, curiosity got the better of him and he went and arranged a viewing. With the instructions from me, I trust your judgement, if you think I'll like it, Put in an offer. The offer was accepted and we finally got the keys on the 10th of June 2021. Join us and our dogs Merlo and Flora as we renovate our Maison de Maitre. Well I'm in the barn where we have these old concrete wine vats. Um, so originally uh, when these were built, they would have been used to yeah, ferment the grapes and turn it into wine. Nowadays, you see all the producers, they've got sort of stainless steel tanks, uh, all nice and shiny. But uh, before then, they would have used these. In fact, last year, when I went with my parents and Claire, we went on a trip to Chateau Spleen. Um, we, they actually still use concrete wine tanks. Um, they've got some more modern ones, but they still have some that they use. So, um, so we've inherited these tanks, and well, we don't know really what to do with them. Nobody has come up with um, an award-winning solution for us. And then we got thinking. Last year, there was a hose pipe ban. You weren't allowed to use your hose for watering anything, refilling your swimming pool or anything like that. And now we've got a swimming pool and we've got lots of flowers, we'd rather like to keep the flowers alive and keep the swimming pool full. And it's been raining a lot. I'm like, well, surely we could store that rainwater and do something with it. So this isn't a novel idea by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, we already do store water in my water butt but that is only 300 litres only 300 litres so it's not going to go very far 300 litres not really going to do much is it but when you've got these tanks and I've just added it up and I think there's a about 170,000 litres of space here. Should really try and use it, shouldn't we? Um, it's just a question of how. Part of this week's shopping trip, went to a Brico shop, or well, in fact went to a couple, but the one shop we went into where I managed to speak to somebody and get some help and information ended up buying this so it is a budget pump uh, it works on the float so when that lifts up the pump will start and when it's empty it will drop down and the idea is to put that over there in the corner because that long pipe that is there leads from several roofs down to this corner and when it rains water comes out of there and goes there and goes don't know where it goes but it goes so bear with me the idea that we've got put some kind of container in there with the pump inside and when that fills up from the drain pipe we'll be able to pump the water along a hose that will 
put along there and it needs to go through the wall into that building there so need to get a long hose to begin with it shouldn't be too hard should it so we'll run the pipe along here and then we need to go through this wall now I've just been having a play around and I'll show you into this old container which where well, you can see there's a blue pipe going into a drain pipe and that blue pipe that I've just shown you comes through to here so I've found a way in and out of this building through that wall don't have to drill any holes so that's a bonus so I'll get the hose pipe into here and from there well we can choose whichever of these containers we want to fill up and uh, well, I hope it doesn't rain so much that we can fill them all up but uh, yeah so the plan is fill up these containers to fill up the tanks there's a couple of things I need to do firstly I need to put a door in the hole so all the tanks they've got these old um, entrances at the bottom where they would probably send in their children to go and clean out the insides or um, just push scrapers in I don't know um, so that will block it off properly they've all got these little taps halfway up which uh, I guess they, they would take a sample of the wine see if it's ready or not uh, and the other thing they've got at the bottom there's one there another one here are these which are the main outlet taps and uh, all I need to do is find something to go in there so we did get left a an amount of paraphernalia to do with the old wine and cognac production from the property um, including this table of bits I mean look at that that is a spanner um, so I've got lots of old tools that they left and uh, spraying equipment and nice barrel taps unfortunately nothing in that triangular shape so I have asked on local Facebook groups does anybody have one of these because they may have moved into a house and found this peculiar tool and not known what it's for I on the other hand have moved into here with Claire and we need one of these tools and haven't got one so I asked a question no positive responses yet a few people have suggested that I make one however I'm going to go to a Brico shop which is a bit more agricultural than the normal ones I go to see if they've got anything there yeah on a day like today shopping that's fine oh we're there yeah. Well, in this shop, you can buy yourself a press. You can buy prop shafts. Um, what else have they got? Yeah, oil. Oh. Wine things. What are they? Bonbon plastic press. Bargain. Anyway. Where's this tool I'm looking for? Cool, look at them. Oh. Well, in the end I had to actually ask somebody. 
no chance. Nothing triangular, sir. So, back to the drawing board. Hmm. In the meantime, if any of you have a good idea where I can get one of these tools, please let me know in the comments below. This week, I tried something new with my husband. Rather than annoying him on a daily basis and going, oh, can you just do this for me? Oh, can you just do that for me? No, I took a different tactic. I wrote down all of the jobs that I wanted help with and I said, can I just have you for half a day? And you know what? It worked out really, really well. One of the things that I asked him to do was to fit something to the windows at the front of our house. And I'm going to show you because I just think it's a really clever little invention. Our side of the house, one side faces out onto Rue Principal, which is a road. It's not a majorly busy road. There is traffic on it. There are people who walk along it. And I don't really open these windows a lot because A, of flora and the idea of flora escaping. And B, I don't like the idea of somebody just opening the shutters and getting in. And I'll show you what I mean now. Previously, in England, all windows that I have encountered open outwards. However, French windows don't. French windows open inwards. So the PVC windows open inwards. However, the shutters open outwards. Now, if you wanted to, you can take your shutters and put them onto a setting where there's a little handle here. So you could have the windows open and the shutters partially shut, but allowing air through. However, number one, Flora is a jumper and I know that she can jump onto the radiator and get out of the window. And number two, I don't like how if you were outside on the street, you could just go to the other side, just unhook this and just kind of just jump into the living room. Also the same in the bedroom. You can't jump that high, can you fella? Short legs. Previously, I have used it where I've kept the shutter on that little latch and the windows open but the windows can flap around. I don't like the security aspect of it. And I don't like the idea of Flora jumping out and doing a runner down the road. Now I found something on the internet, just something small. And I asked my husband to fit these as one of his jobs the other day. And I'm really, really chuffed with these. I only got them for two rooms because they were quite expensive as fixtures, but we got these. So it's two, two different connectors connect onto either side of the window and it's just like a big long curly thing and it can hold, I shall try and demonstrate with one hand. I couldn't do it one handed but it looks like this. So it's basically something that's a lot more secure that you can't really put your hand through the window to open. Uh, it holds the window open in place so the window is not bashing around and it's on a setting where a tiny little dog cannot get out through that hole. So yeah, I just thought I would show you that just in case it's of any use to you because it was to me. So last week on Saturday, we started putting the greenhouse together, together. Um, I made the fundamental mistake of not wearing sun cream because it's not been hot enough so far this year. Today has been the one kind of sunny day we have had all week. So before I go outside, I'm lathering myself in factor 30 because I don't want that to happen again. I did not enjoy the pain that I had on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. It finally went off last night. So, remember, put your sunscreen on. Especially if you have the ginger gene. 
Now I am creamed up. I am currently just having a look at the weather because I'm hoping that that is it for the manky weather for a while. Um, it's looking not too bad. And the reason why I'm hoping that I can get some of my tomato plants outside today. So with the weather not being great, there's been a lot of inside activities this week. However, I have got some more things planted. So I've got some more giant sunflowers, some succarine lettuce and some purple lettuce, uh, a herb called borage, some dill, curled parsley, purple basil, some radishes, rocket salad and some purple kale. Along with all of the other little saplings which are all starting to spring up, I think next week I'll actually have to repot some of them too. So where I was last week, work kind of ground to a halt with the minging weather. And this is kind of where I am at the moment. And on the rainier days this week, there may have been an accidental, intentional trip to the garden centre. We give you beautiful, fresh, clean, Brita filtered water and no you come outside and drink out of a manky plant pot. On my day of half booking my husband to do jobs around the house, I asked for some new planters to be made from the old roof boards that were in the laundry house or the wash house. Um, and here's what I got. The first one I asked for was a long trough uh, so I can put giant sunflowers in it. Now, I put it up against this door for the meantime because, well, we don't use this door because it's that fragile. Um, and also it's in a sunny spot. I would have put it somewhere else, but we've yet to scrape and excavate the yard. My sunflowers are definitely ready to be planted. Look at them, and they've got giant roots on them now. So the other thing I also kindly asked for was some grow bag planters. Aren't they lovely? Lovely carpentry there, husband. Anyway, I've got three tomato plants that I actually got from the garden centre. Mine are still growing away. Um, these ones are a bit more mature and they are the same variety that we had last year, which were incredible. They just kept on giving. So, in they go. I've also planted some more plants in the border near the pool today. I've had my helper, haven't I? Yes. Never too old for cuddles, even though we're three. Hmm. Well, I'm out in front of the jeet again. Um, and yeah, the render is looking all right. Um, so one job I do need to get finished off is actually the window sills here. Uh, Father-in-law has come up with an idea that I can cut these patio slabs and fit them. So uh, I'm going to see how that goes. Well, they were easy enough to cut. See how it looks on the windowsill. Well, obviously I need to bed them down on some water, but um, I think that'll do. There's nothing in the
Well, that wasn't too challenging. Um, I'm going to leave them to go off, get set, and just finish off again underneath some of them and up the sides just to make it as smart as possible. So, uh, yeah, another job ticked off the list. I've just been trying to break up this concrete slab and what that is if you look over here there is a concrete slab four pillars and that delightful roof and we think that this was another base um, we got for our hens over there that lean-to thing but it hasn't got a base under us I'm quite happy because as you see the the hens actually like dusting themselves off under there, so that's good. But we didn't know... But we didn't know what this was. Is it just here, or... Is it covering something? And uh, well, I'm about a third of the way through at the moment and haven't fallen down a mine shaft. So uh, I think I should carry on. Well, that was fun. Well, let's answer the question that we had in our heads. Is there anything underneath it? Well, there is obviously something underneath it. Nothing underneath it would be worse than... Oh, I don't know. Um, anyway, smashing. I thought I should go and put it somewhere. Happy Sunday everyone. I'm just starting to edit this week's video and I've realised that we've not actually got a lot of content for this week so I've decided to call the video restart for a few reasons. Not everything always goes to plan and that's fine. <laughs> we've had a little bit of a challenging week here. Um, for the first part of the week it's just been a complete and utter washout. It has rained thunder and lightning. It's been pretty miserable. Where the weather's been a complete washout at the same time, it has been a slight blessing. Um, Mr. Butcher's laptop decided to finally give up the ghost. So I've had time to get my old one ready to give to him. What a good wife am I? Somebody this week has also decided to come into season. So Merlot's still around at the moment because you're not very fragrant yet, are you dear? But soon we will have to separate them. Um, in the meantime, we have prepared this time, haven't we? No, no face licky. We have prepared and in a week or two, we will be using our doggy heat pants. Frilled mermaid style. We've also had a problem with our pool this week. Now, Nick's been desperately trying to sort it and I keep going outside and finding him in a corner of a barn in the dark. Um, where all of the pool equipment is trying to fix this problem. We have, we have got somebody coming out next week to try and fix it for us. He's been desperately trying to fix it because he really wants to get the pool up and running as the weather next week is looking great. But for days now, he keeps going in there trying to fix it. Think he's fixed it, yay, but then it's gone wrong. So this has taken up 
quite a lot of time this week. This is the reason why I've decided to call this week's episode Restart, because sometimes you just need to stop, take a step back and restart the job. Things can only get more positive. Sounds like power tools. Here's this week's garden update for you. Could be some bluebells. to Wine of the Week. week. Uh, well, that's a week I don't want to repeat in a hurry. No, not really. <laughs> anyway, tomorrow's a new week, so uh, yeah, be positive. Yeah, this week we have a lovely Spanish white, my favourite, Torres Vina Esmeralda. It is just sunshine in a bottle. Ah. And you are in the sunshine. I am. Enjoying it for whereas, the first time this week. <laughs> whereas I am in the shade. I do not want any more sun after last weekend. <laughs> Never mind. Well, this is a lovely white wine. A year ago, we were actually in Spain on holiday enjoying some of this. Um, we bought a few back and we nearly run out. <gasps> no! <laughs> Perfect on a day like today. Well, thank you for watching if you've enjoyed this week's episode please do hit like and if you've not already subscribed please consider doing so you can follow us on facebook instagram or twitter or on our website at www.theexpatbutchers.com cheers cheers yay Thanks for watching and we will see you next week. Bye bye.